If there was someone you would ask for advice, for paranormal concerns, you wouldn't get any better answers than from someone who has been in this field for more than 42 years. Our special guest for this episode is Miss Star of Stargazer Philippines. She's been helping people with their paranormal concerns ever since the 80s. And we are very, very grateful she accepted our invitation to be a guest. She shares her early years in the paranormal world, how she met her mentor, Father Bulatao, and some very useful tips on protecting yourself from the things we cannot see. Enjoy. So tonight we have a very, very, very special guest. Uh, she's been uh, doing this actually, uh, as she mentioned, for 47 years. And um, kami na, kumbaga kami mga nandito ay mga basang sisiu. Ang ating guest po ay Mother Hen. <laughs> Mother Hen na talaga. <laughs> Please welcome uh, our guest, uh, Miss Stargazer po. Hi, hi po ma'am. Good evening po. Thank you po for allowing us to uh, talk to you about our interests and uh, questions. <laughs> Yes, good evening then. Um it's 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 really something that you share what you know para more people would be able to be guided, di ba? Para habang the in journey nila na naitatama nila, nakukuha nila yung mga techniques and then develop their own techniques. Yes po. Well, habang iniisa-isa ko nga yung YouTube nyo po, <laughs> inuubos ko na. <laughs> uh, parang hindi pa ako nakaabot ng episode where you to talk about your Technically, your parang origin story. Kailan, kailan nagmulat po yung, yung spiritual awakening nyo? Kailan nyo na-realize na meron kayong ability po? Siguro ako, uh, naaalala ng lola ko, which I fondly called nanay. No? Um, naalala niya nung bata ako, madalas akong parang sa gabi, nagigising, alas stress sa madaling araw, may kinakausap. Mm. It was already beyond no? na normal kasi titingin sa puno, sasabihin ko mayroong monkey na nakabaligtad. Kasi syempre, nung bata, di ba, um, alam mo, iba kasi nung panahon ko, Inglesera talaga eh. So, <laughs> pag ano ko sasabihin ko, nanay, nanay, look at the tree, oh, there are monkeys hanging upside down. So, wala namang monkey. Yes. Diba? So, nakikita mo nakabaligtad. Sabi niya, anong monkey? Sabi ko, malalaking monkey. So, uh, almost as big as the tree. So, syempre, sipi mo ni monkey, di ba? Sa akin, description, bata, monkey. So, it could probably a capre. Di ba? Mm-hmm. So, nakabaligtad. So, pa sabi ko, and nanay, nanay, they're smoking, oh. Ganon. Okay. Okay. Oh, diba? Ayun. Nung bata nga ako, madalas yan, yung mga... Ewan ko ba, uh, alam mo, there are too many stories to tell and there were incidents na no? I was being called sa princ- uh, no, not principal's office naman, guidance counselor. Okay. <laughs> yan, yan tayo mag-uumpisa. Mm-hmm. Um, lahat naman ng pinasukan ko, exclusive girls school. Tapos, there was one time, meron kaming classmate no, na sabi nag absent kasi daw may epilepsy. Okay. So, magka, magkatabi kami. Magkatabi. Uh, ang family name niya, I really remember, it's letter A. Eh, syempre, okay. Ang family name ko, B. Eh, di alphabetical yan. No? Yes po. So, alam mo, minsan tumingin siya sa akin, pumasok siya. Tapos yung boses niya, nag-iba. Nag-iba talaga. Tapos, Nung nag-iiba siya ng boses, hindi ko pinapansin pero tinitingnan ko and then I can see nanlilisi ka mata. Yung nagiging parang, eh, bata kami, eh, bata. Yes, oo. Oh, oh, oh. uh, ano bang age ko noon? Um, parang I think I was grade 1. No? Nung nakikita ko, nanlilisi yung mata niya. Tapos, uh, biglang babagsak tapos magka, magkikisay-kisay ng gano'n. And then, mm-hmm. di pa yan. So, nagkaroon kami ng field trip. Grade 2 pala ako noon. Tapos okay. nagkaroon kami na field trip. Uh, di ba usong-uso ang field trip niya sa Parks and Wildlife? Yes. Uh-huh. So, nandun kami sa may aviary. Nandun uh-huh. siya sa kabila, nandun ako sa kabila. Pagkatapos, talagang alam mo, bakit ba sa akin siya galit talaga? Naglalakad siyang ganyan at nanilisik siya. Sabi ko, pero pag wala siyang episodes, we're good friends. Yes. Galit siya sa akin, nakaganyan siya. Pagkatapos, sabi niya sa akin, Tinuro niya, dinuro niya talaga akong gano'n. Mm-hmm. Sabi niya sa akin, you are, meron siya kung ano-ano mga sasabi, bahay nga yes. siya, oh, nagkita oh. na mga bosses. Alam mo, lumapit ako. Pagkatapos, nagdasal lang ako and then I put my hand over her 
uh, for, forehead. Tapos, I was praying. I don't yes. even remember what I prayed. Pagkatapos, nakita nung madre. Oh. Ayan na. E di ngayon, inano ako, dinala na naman ako sa sa guidance po. Guidance. At tinanong, do I have any problems daw? Ako pa ngayon na may problem. Oh. <laughs> oh. Do I have any problems? Meron ba raw akong um, sabihin mo na family Yung yes, mother and uh, father, ganun, 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 siblings. Ganun. So, pinatawag ang lola ko. Sabi ng lola ko, wala, normal yan eh. And one thing, I'm always in the top 10 of the class. Okay. So, so wala ka sasabihin na she's ano, not behaving properly. Pag yes. tinanong naman yung aking mga mga class advisors, ah, normal na kid, naglalaro, maingay, ganyan. Walang, walang, ano, wala sila masabi. Yes. Until those incidents, no, lagi yan, Ah, uh, hanggang bina- kasi binabantayan ako ng lola ko sa school, no? So it's mm-hmm. a Makati exclusive school na nandoon lagi ang lola ko until nga na mag-high school ako. High school ko pinadala kami ng dad ko and mom sa probinsya. So I studied in a uh, very exclusive school then. Mm-hmm. So nung nandoon na mas nag ano yung interest ko kasi ang kwento doon so oh. <laughs> Anong probinsya po if I can ask? Antique. Okay. Okay. So, ay nako, lahat ng kwento. Tapos pa okay. yung tito ko na relative namin, siguro tito ko sa pinsan o whatever, yan ang nagdi-drive sa amin. Eh, isa pang nakakakita. Ah, okay. So, minsan, pag uuwi kami from school, so may kotse kami, dinala ng kotse doon para ma- oh. ma-service. Yes. Eh, di ba nung panahon na yun, ako, huwag mo nang tanungin kailan yun, eh, <laughs> pag may kotse ka, mayaman ka, para yes. naman nakakahiya, no, yung edad. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Mga 70s yun. Okay. So, um, nung nandun kami, hininto niya in the middle of the highway. Yes. Tapos sabi pa niya sa akin, ito ang spot kung saan maraming namamatay. Okay. Ngayon, sabi niya sa akin, tingnan mo. Sabi niya, hintay tayo, pinatay niya ilaw, ganyan. Uh-huh. Kasi ang doon kasi sa probinsya, mag-aalas sa is na yan, madilim na eh. At saka okay. alam mo, wag ganun tayo, wala na sa sakyan na tayo. Yes, oo. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. So, ang mga tricycle, wala na halos kasi nga oh. wala namang highway uh, na lighting eh. Yes. Oh. So, nung nandun kami nakastop, sabi niya, tingnan mo. Eh, sabi ko sa kanya, firefly yan eh, firefly eh, ganyan ako. <laughs> Tapos sabi niya, halika, dali, tingnan natin. Pag tingin, di, bumaba kami, although nasa side lang naman kami, nakaparami oh. lang. Hindi firefly, hindi maliliit. Oo. Oh. Bola talaga, bola as in oh. apoy, umaapoy, gumagay okay. yan eh. Okay. Okay. First time ko nakakita ng San Telmo. Okay. okay. Habi ko, tataintin, tataintin. Paano mo nalaman na magkakaroon? Feel lang daw niya, kaya nga nag-stop mm. siya eh. Okay. Oh. Tapos pa-uwi na kami nun eh. Tapos sabi niya, huwag kwento yan ha. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. Ibig sabihin nun, kasi baka pagalitan siya na, yes. oh, ng lolo ko, ganun ganun. Oh. Tapos, pagka ngayon, sinusundo niya ako at ginagapi. Dali, dali, tatayintin. Niyawag na kasi ma- <laughs> ano eh, yung imagination ko daw masyado. So yes. anyway, so yun yung first time. Tapos sabi ko, tatayintin, ano sa tingin mo sila? Uh-huh. Sabi niya, nakikita ko yan kapag madalas merong bagong na aksidente. So, during that time, may na Kasi madalas, ewan ko ba, that's, that place, laging motor na aksidente. Okay. Hindi siya yung malalaking sasakyan. Mm-hmm. And then after noon, so ganyan-ganyan, since open na nga ako, marami ako, may naroon, meron akong, um, with my own two eyes, I saw my cousin, my second cousin, na para siya na comatose for, para siya natulog for a long time, tapos biglang nagising. Alam mo, may tinatawag kaming, Merong di ba malalaking kawayan at may maliliit na kawayan. Yes. Yung kinatawag natin ngayon na parang mga ornamentals na kawayan. Mm-hmm. Na hindi ganun kalaki. Would you believe, first time ko nakita, ako kasi nakatayo dun and my brother. Umakit siya. Ewan ko paano siya nakaakit dun sa bubong eh. Sa bubong siya dumaan. Mm-hmm. Nagising na siya bigla. Dumaan sa bubong at inapakan yung ganun manipis na kawayan na kawayan. lumundo lang ng kaunti. Pero bakit hindi na bakli? Oo. Di ba? Ka- Ibig sabihin yung weight ng isang bata. Tapos yun, anipis-nipis na parang halos ganyan. Hindi na bakli. Oh. Nakita ko. Tapos yun, sabi ko sa brother ko, dali, dali, tawagin mo. Tawagin mo yung, yung kung ano, yung... Nando kasi siya sa may likuran ng, ng isa ng mga tita ko eh. Hmm. Mag-ano na yun, magsi 6 p.m. Tapos nung magkagulo na, hindi ko maipaliwanag din yun after now. Now, came. So, balik na ako na Manila. Two years lang naman ako nag-aaral doon. Balik ako na Manila. And then, I went to Ateneo. So, second semester yon, I if I remember it right, 
I was walking from one the main building going to kung saan yung uh, department ko no department okay. ko is Department of Communication Arts okay. katabi ng Department of Psychology so naglalakad ako eto ngayon ang lola niya hawak-hawak ang mga libro ano ba hawak ko libro Taoism mm-hmm. Buddhism okay. Sikhism ganon nalaglag hindi ko alam paano nalaglag kasi bitbit ko yan may bag pa ako yan eh may pagdalang pagkain nalaglag along the way yung sa, sa path no yes. may mga puno may umano sa akin tao tiningnan ko siya nakabarong mm-hmm. pero ordinaryong barong ha hindi yung nakakolor ng pare mm-hmm. ordinaryong barong tapos pinulot niya para sa akin okay here you go here you go young girl sabi niya ganun tapos sabi niya di nakaayos na sabi niya you better put it in your bag di nilagay ko nga kumamay siya pag kamay niya hello you seem like you're a freshy freshman mm-hmm. my name is father Jaime Bulatao I am the chairman of the Department of Psychology. Tapos sinawa ka niya yung kamay ko. Ganyan siya ng ganyan. Mm-hmm. So sabi dito sa center, oh. so sabi ko, ano tong bastos naman nito? <laughs> Ang feeling ko kasi parang... Yes, oo. Oh. Oh, Sumisimple, no? Oh, oh. Sumisimple. Ano yung pagganun-ganun ng kamay, mm-hmm. di ba? Mm-hmm. Tapos yung pinasabi niya, I am Father Jaime Bulataw. Napaganyan ako. Oh, Father. Tapos sabi niya, um... Hinawa ka niya, hindi niya, hindi niya binitawan yung kamay ko. Siyempre, nahiya na ako dahil pare, bastos oh, oh. na nasa isip ko. Oh, 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 oh. Hinawa ka niya ganyan. Tapos sabi niya, do you want to develop your third eye? Sabi ko ganyan. Tapos sabi ko, ah, how do you know that I I do have a third eye? I can feel it. Sabi niya oh, Okay. Okay. Sabi niya, if you, uh, sabi niya, okay, are you, you're a freshie, so what is your course? Communication. Ah, okay, Carol ka. Sabi niya, we're just neighbors. Mine is psychology department, a few doors away from your department. If you have, if you have a vacant time, you come to my office and then you just ask Susan if I'm available and then talk to me. Mm-hmm. Yon, so inopen niya. Alam mo, hindi ko kinuha yon. Kasi feeling ko, hindi ako ready. Or sabi mo, ano kaya gagawin nito? Y- yung talaga yes, hindi ko yes. alam. Okay. So it took me until I was about second year. Um, finally, so pabalik-balik kami kasi yung department namin dun sa kabila yung mga ibang classes. Eh. So itong, cla- itong best friend ko, up to now, best friend ko pa rin, mm-hmm. barkada ko, nakita namin yung pare. Alam mo, kilala na namin kung sino siya eh, second mm-hmm. year. Yes. Hi Father Bo, what are you looking up there? di tingin din ako sa puno mm-hmm. oh father there's a white lady there tingnan niya niya ako I told you to go to me sabi niya ganon <laughs> tapos ki, sabi niya I'm talking to the white lady okay yan ha oh, pari yun ha oo tapos nati, binalingan din niya yung yung best friend ko you do you want to learn uh, learn healing <laughs> kasi nga I think you're into healing yes. but this girl here is not sabi niya ako daw oo so, So finally, I took the challenge in about second semester of my second year, pumunta sa kanya. Actually, agaw-agaw yun eh. Uh-oh. It's uh, it's between, ano, tapos sabi niya sa akin, okay, we'll start your, I'll see what is your gift. So, ang dami niyang ginagawa. Si, he did uh, parang the Zener cards and everything. Yung, lahat yan, lahat yan. Pag nagturo siya kasi, hindi yung turo na akala mo classroom type. Bibigyan mm-hmm. kanya ng assignment. This is what you do. Hanggang aura reading. So, okay. minsan, pinapaupo niya ako na matagal na matagal. So, sabi niya, look at that. And then, tell me what you see. Ganyan. Mm-hmm. Tapos, minsan, meron pa yung ping pong ball. Sabi niya, move the ping pong ball. Sabi ko, move it father with what? With my finger or what? Or should I blow it? No. Mm-hmm. Stay away. So, um, hanggang sa nasabi niya sa akin na your strength is really precognition, retrocognition. You are clairvoyant, you are clairaudient. Clear sentient. You have mm-hmm. everything mm-hmm. except healing. Okay. I don't think you like to get into it. So that was that was the start of my journey with him. So he handled he he, he mentored me for about two and a half to three years. Okay. Ano, yun start mo. So lumalabas again, uh, but with our observations, because ang lumalabas, uh, marami kami na kukuhang guest is yun nga yung mga mas nahihiyang magkwento kasi na judge sila para nakikita namin na uh, yung pattern nga same mas sa uh, kinukuwento nyo po na is iba-ibang well for for some people iba-iba yung gift may iba may precognition talaga may iba nakakabasa ng aura may iba naman 
nararamdaman lang nila tsaka naamoy nila yung kung spirit man yun or ano. Pero kita, wala sila. So, ganun po ba talaga? Iba-iba talaga yung iba-iba yung level ng kanilang abilities or development lang yun? Alam mo kasi, I, I, for me, I can say for myself, every everything was open na at the time. Eh. Mm-hmm. Okay? Ang healing, the reason why I could not get into healing, may, may dahilan yan, after na yan, ikukwento ko kung bakit. Sige pa. Um, like my friend, no? Uh, yung best friend ko. Mm-hmm. Wala naman siya ng auditory. Okay. Wala siya sa smell eh. Wala. Uh-oh. Pero, she has a sense of knowing. But she cannot see also. Mm-hmm. But she can feel. So, uh, yun eh, clear sentient. So, mm-hmm. andun, hindi lahat din naman na binibigyan ng pagkakataon na maging uh, lahat. No? Yes, yes. Um, yes. But asking me kung nadidevelop to, of course, it can. Which is really discipline. A okay. lot of hard work. So, marami kasi, again, marami rin nag-reach out sa amin is, mas kinukwento na lang nila and ayaw nilang i-develop. <laughs> ayaw nilang i-develop. Actually, that will segue to my next question, ma'am. With regards to Sam, kasi he reached out to us actually saying na, yun nga, nung bata siya, nagigising siya, may makikita siya sa puno, kumakaway sa kanya. Naglalakad siya ng kalye, may bumabati sa kanya palagi na espiritu na. So, parang naging normal for him. so eh, Pero yun nga, eventually, Sam, anong age ba yun? Eventually, it came to a ta- uh, point na biglang nawala lahat. So, we asked someone from actually from, uh, may nakausap kami from Reddit na nas- nakabase siya sa Denmark. And from her, ba- sa basa niya is parang may nagbablock daw sa sa may na- dito sa, sa amin, no? sa liquid banda. Eh, no? So, hindi ko rin alam. So, is there a way ba to, I mean, do you have a tip kaya kung how to open it or release it kaya? You know, um, there's there are reasons why sometimes nag nagka cloud o natatakpan ang third eye. First is you have to consider yung status ng emotional status or mm. uh, ano niya kasi maaring uh, going through a lot of uh, challenges, no? Okay. Pangalawa, kamusta yung self-esteem, no? Mm. You work on that first, no? You really have to be very very uh, thorough, no? May dinaanan ba trauma? Yan. Alam nyo, ang trauma can open and can close. Mm, yes. Or can cloud. I cannot say close. Ha? Can open or can cloud the the, the gift of seeing. No? Kasi when you say the gift of seeing, kasi it encompasses a lot of things. It's not yes. seeing with the eye. Yes. But you can also see with... you can. There's an all-knowing thing. You know, so you can see. So, quote-unquote, see. So, ang nangyari sa kanya siguro kailangan alamin niya ano ba yung naging trauma niya o naging pinagdaanan niya sa nakaraan. Ito lang recent. Mm-hmm. Kung bakit gumanyan. Kailangan niya talaga ayusin muna ang sarili niya. Now, pag naayos niya ang sarili niya, yung block na sinasabi na yun, yun mismo yun. Kung ano man yung emotional, psychological, yes. no? and spiritual na sabi mo na, na challenge niya, yun ang dapat i-overcome. Mm-hmm. Alam mo actually in this gift, Ah, uh, noong panahon ko, pwede ko sabihin may tabu, okay? Yes. Na hindi pwedeng pag-usapan, ganyan. Kahit si Father Bu had already also received a lot of uh, criticism. No? Yes. Sa peers din niya, even with the Jesuits also. The thing is, there's, wala nang ganyan eh. Everything is open now. Maybe some people just think, it's 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 a matter of sabihin, kasi baka mamaya i-judge niya ako, bakit ganon, no? Kasi may takot na hindi, it's the not knowing that everything right now is so open. So, ang dami-daming grupo ngayon. Kahit saan ako pumunta, nakakarinig ako may coven coven yan. Ako, meron mga ganito. Meron nga akong mga na, nakakausap na, alam mo, parang, sabi ko, parang ang weird naman ng mga ito kumilos, na parang ini-embody pa yung ganito. Oh, okay, let's have a ritual already, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Sabi ko, mga OA ng mga ito. Parang, parang lang sa mga libro, mga Harry Potter. <laughs> the thing, no? well, ever since, yes. you see one example. One example is the Harry Potter. Ano pa? Bukod doon, kay Harry Potter, sino pa? Marami pang mga movies. Yes. Oh, nag-open na yan. It means it's already be, being accepted now. Iba yung mga charm. Oh, bakit tayo merong mga ano? Oo nga. Yan na. 
Tapos ano pa nga ba yung mga pinanunood ko? Marami ako pinanunood na natatawa ako kasi sabi ko, ayan na oh, dati nung time ko, just ko pag-usapan mo. Oh, oh. Sabihin, ganun ka. Hmm. Oh. Um, itong siguro, uh, mga nakakausap ninyo, maybe they just really have to look at certain uh, groups or people who would be, there are psychologists that are open. Hmm, Ang kapartner okay. ko, if I, I uh, kasi ako kasi since I was trained, Also, although de- and developed no, by a uh, psychologist, which is, pa- who is Father Boo. Yes. Ang una-una ko kasing training is, oo, nandyan na, nakikita ko. Pero ang gagawin ko muna, o para hindi tayo mukhang lukarit, kailangan muna, you have to be, yung, are you in the sound? You, is your mind sound? Yes. Diba? Masabihin mo, okay, marami akong pinagdadaanan. Okay, emotionally. Okay, inayos mo ba sarili mo? Kasi minsan, there's a thin line dividing between Um, hallucinations mm-hmm. and schizophrenia and really having, you know, meron di possession, may multiple personalities pala, nagpapalit-palit, psychological, it's a not case pala, parang gano'n. Yes. So everything has to be thorough before really sabihin mo na paranormal agad. Yes. Now these friends, these people that who come to you, probably, mas maganda naman siguro na seek mo na professional advice. What's mm. that? Talk to somebody first. whether you are undergoing a lot of emotional pain. Kahit pag-usap ka. And then, pag naayos mo na sarili mo at still, nandito pa rin yung mga nakikita mo at sa kanilaramdaman mo, ibang usapan niyo. Mm-hmm. Okay? Um, I have a very good psychiatrist na sabi ko nga, pagka may clients ako, and then isang tingin ko pa lang, alam ko na kung not case eh. Alam ko naman kung talagang totoo naman may gift eh. Mm-hmm. So kapag not case, sasabihin ko, uh, this is the number of doktora, ganito, ganyan, please go. Tapos ititimbrihan ko yung friend ko. Ah, uh, friend, mm, mukhang feeling ko lang, based on nakikita ko sa aura, eh, parang may ano to, parang may schizophrenia. O kaya may anxiety disorder, ganyan-ganyan. O may mga panic attacks nangyayari. O kaya nag-hallucinate na o suicidal, ganyan-ganyan. So, ganun. Kailangang balansi tayo. Hindi basta-basta paranormal. Mm-mm. Hindi agad magja-jump to that. Yun na napapansin namin na meron kasi kami nakausap rin. Actually, si JM rin nag-aral rin ng psychology. Parang, hindi naman kami nagbibigay advice. Pero <laughs> minsan parang uh, we try to say na to give our opinion lang. Pero we know na hindi kami talaga knowledgeable sa fact. Pero parang kagaya nun, merong uh, nag-reach out na yung anak niya daw, siya nagkaroon siya ng paranormal experience sa Middle East. Tapos biglang yung anak niya nagkaroon rin. Eventually, we parang we, we theorized na parang baka nga na nag act out yung anak niya kasi wala siya dito sa ano. And narinig yung kwento niya, ginagaya kwento niya para attention seeking. Yes, yeah, so, oo. So baka ganun niya. So better nga talaga to go through the psychological route first before you diagnose na may paranormal experience. Yung isang girl nga na kasama namin palagi, kasi ganyan, parang kukwentuhan lang kami palagi nito eh. Anyway, yung isang girl na kasama namin na nagpatulong nga, kasi yung anak niya, middle of the night, min- tumisigaw. Pero siya, siya rin, nakakita siya, bata pa siya. Pero hindi, parang uh, hindi niya lang pinapansin. Feeling niya, nasisiraan siyang ulo. Anyway, napag-usapan niya namin, baka nakaka- napasa niya sa anak niya. Anyway, long story short, may nahanap na kami tulong from an exorcist. And uh, hindi siya Catholic priest, but uh, he he's very sensitive. And yun nga, anonymous siya. Ayaw niya sabihin. Kasi pati nanay niya, hindi alam eh. Pero meron siyang kinwento, meron siyang mga bantay. So, kayo rin po ba, ma'am? Uh, do you have that? Do you seek help sometimes from, uh, I guess, spirits or elementals that help you? Considered na bantay or? I have, I have seen my bantay. Um, tatlo, okay. But there are five. Dao, you know, with with somebody I trust. No? But the three, I already know who they are, and it seems that it's really true. Um, well, if you believe in astrology. I have my Jupiter in my 12th. So based in astrology, I think if you know what it is, Jupiter, the expansive uh, planet, is in my 12th house of spirituality. So it means that I'm really in, meant for this. Okay. And also there's another meaning, a person who has a Jupiter in the 12th. Mahirap kulamin. Okay. Bakit? Merong hidden, meron daw angel. Okay. May popotek. Okay. 
all my life, I've also noticed that there will always be some angel that you don't see na, that intervenes or some, does something. Okay, because a life, my life was not very easy, even though sabi mo, um, financially I blessed, and, you know, my parents are okay. Yeah. But there were also personal na mga challenges, which I get the pinaka heaviest. And each time na merong matter of life and death talaga, talaga na si save ako. So mm. I don't know for what reason. So those are too too deep na to delve into. Yeah. But so there is a Jupiter in the 12th. You would know if a person is really into this. Look at the astrological chart of that person. Uh, so, okay. naniniwala din ako doon kasi syempre that's another form of yes. ano, diba, uh, esoteric ano, learning. Pero, with my good friend who's the Filipino astrologer, si Resti, lagi talaga yung sasabi, alam mo, kahit man anong gawin ng mga iba na talagang patataubing ka, eh, ikaw uh, yung may Jupiter sa 12th. Eh. So, ibig sabihin nun, your time, your destiny now is really yes. to be on, ano, ngayon, kung nawawala at to a certain point, alam mo yung, yung kanina babalikan ko, babacktrack ko lang. Ah, yes po. Doon sa sabi mo nawala bigla, titingnan natin, kung titingnan mo yan sa astrology, bakit nawala or something. Mm-hmm. Kasi baka naman it was not meant to be. Okay. So, meron ding mga dahilan. Mm-hmm. Ma'am, inopen up nyo si, si Jupiter. <laughs> with, with regards, again, um, let's say, interdimensional. Uh, may nakausap kasi kami. Again, hindi naman sa vini-verify ko yung mga kwento nila. Pero kasi, again, as we delve deeper into these topics, nare-realize ko, ako personally, nakikita ko yung similarity sa stories ng sensitive and ability people. Eh. And some of them, for people who have not an, who don't have an open mind, would seem very out there. Eh. Again, baka iba yung experience mo, baka iba yung beliefs mo rin. Pero, we talked to this one sensitive person in Amsterdam. Medyo bata pa siya. And she she studied and she went with people na medyo ability. And she said, so tinanong namin, have you experienced parang not really alien pero interdimensional beings ba? Have you experienced that? Kasi ki, again, I would relate it to Mr. Tony Perez sa kanya. Meron siyang mention of uh, parang ibang aliens eh. Okay. Yun yung simplest term aliens pero they could be something else. Okay. Um, kung sinabi mo kasi interdimensional, even the elementals are interdimensional. Yes. Ah, okay. Because mm-hmm. they, they, they uh, also occupy a different dimension. Yes. So, even itong mga lamang lupa, yan nga elementals, angels, fairies, whatever, spirits are also of a different dimension. But let's be specific about uh, yun nga, aliens. Yes. I do believe they're aliens. Okay. But then, um, there are times that I feel, like for example, if I'm in Sedona, no? like Sedona, mm-hmm. Sedona mm-hmm. USA, uh, dapat itong February nandun ako, kasi last February, February nandun ako, I always see to it that every, uh, every year nandun ako, Feb, alam mo, when I go out, sa Sedona kasi it's considered as um, parang, hindi pwede yung mga high-tech, high-tech to marami ilaw, ganyan, ganyan, mm-hmm. ganyan, 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 ganyan. You know, when I look up to the skies, that's where they do most of their UFO tours. Mm. Yes. I really can feel, kasi minsan may mga ilaw nakakaiba. Uh-huh. Nakakita na ako na ilaw nakakaiba. Uh-huh. And then you would feel doon, no, there are places there na mga vortex of energies. Alam mong may iba. Okay. Pero ako, talagang sasabi mo nakakita ng isang... Yes, oo, oo, oo. Uh, sabi mo, itsura ng tao siya, tapos, or whatever, ma, mm. wala pa. Wala pa, okay. Uh, maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not uh, privileged to see that. Yeah. But yung ibang dimension, of course, uh, that's why they call me nga a medium eh. Yes, oo. Uh, okay. So, I I can, I can sense, but you know, come think of it, sometimes there are knowledge, no, that comes to me, all of a sudden, sometimes when I'm just alone and in the middle of the night when everything is quiet, doon nga sa Sedona, minsan daming flooding ng ano, information. Information, no. O, kasan galing ito? Sabi kong ganyan, talaga, may mga ganyan pa ako, talaga. Oh, oh, oh. Eh, minsan hindi ko na lang inaano kasi nga, it's too advanced. Yes, okay. 
ikukuwento ko po sa inyo yung kwento sa amin nung taga uh, Amsterdam nga. Sa kanya daw, in the, may kasama siya sa kwarto, pagkatapos, parang sa harap niya yung wall, parang naging ibang, nag, naging nag-split apart, pero siya lang nakakakita. Tapos merong lumabas na parang matangkad na being, di niya maintindihan. Siya rin, siya rin habang kinukwento niya, parang sabi niya, medyo baka hindi kayo maniwala. Pero I'm just telling you kung ano yung experience ko. Matangkad daw na being, tapos kinakausap siya, pero yung sound daw, para ang daming iba-ibang sound na hindi niya maintindihan. Parang sobrang garbled daw. Wala siya maintindihan. Pero in her thoughts, naiintindihan niya yung sinasabi. Tapos yun, tapos after a while, Parang nasabi lang ng message, tapos nawala na siya. Ayun, tinatanong ko lang. Meron kasing mga tao who are really attuned, naka-attuned sila doon. Okay. And probably these people are aliens themselves without them knowing ah, yes. origin nila. Correct, correct, okay? correct. Oo, tama. Make sense. So, ako kasi, I don't see myself as an alien eh. So, I can see what my past lives are, were. No? Yes. So, yung mga nagaganyan, alam mo, isa lang talaga deduction ko. Siguro alien oh. ka rin, kaya nga oh, siya yung oh. mga kausap. Correct. Oo nga. Oo nga. Kasi it, it takes, an... ganito, kanya ka ng dimension eh. Okay. Yes. Kanya ka niyang energies. Na kung siya, kaya niya abutin yung radar nun, it means sabihin nun, there's a part of For, them, of that person, of that person, na pareho lang sa kanila, kaya ang bilis nila mag-connect. Correct, correct. That yes. makes so much sense. So ma'am, given that, do you have that same theory kasi I have that theory na ito galing narinig ko rin to kay Jaime <laughs> Lekao ko and upon research rin tinatagpi-tagpi ko rin lang na parang for me sensitive people come from that race kung anong race man yun advanced civilization before before the Atlanteans na parang yung mga mas attuned to the uh, to the psychic uh, abilities feeling ko kayo ma'am <laughs> itong mga tong nandito uh, yun yun eh nanggaling kayo dun eh kaya kayo mas uh, open and mas ano. Do you believe that also? Actually, pwede naman kasi. Like for example, when we, di pa nga, ano ba ang theory na reincarnation? Bakit yes. tayo binabalik-balik? There are some some info that is erased from our minds. Kaya hindi mm. natin maalala. Yes. Tapos minsan, sa sobrang ano, hindi naman nila na-erase masyado. Mm-hmm. Di ba? So, mm-hmm. may naiiwan na. Kaya may memories ka eh. Yes. So, uh, maari. Pero, alam mo kasi, meron yung tinatawag na ano ba yung ko sabi mo bakit siya nakaka-connect actually lahat naman ng ng sensitives can connect to them um yun nga ang uh, theory nga rin ni Jimmy is that Lemurians Atlanteans were yes. not of this world ah okay oo we're not of this world no hmm. we're not ah uh, ako ang feeling ko ako ang feel ko i was part of sa Lemuria okay, okay? so bakit i work with crystals Okay. Diba? Yung, yung, ang Atlantean sa Kalimurian, mga Christos, ngayon, pagdating naman sa mga alien, tingnan mo yung mga tao masyadong high-tech na magagaling sa ano, technology. Mm. Meron din siyan ng mm-hmm. pagiging kakaiba. Makikita mo eh. Makikita mo sa way of life nila and everything. Sobrang <laughs> interesting. So, given that, parang kayo po, na, nung nagka-regression kayo, you, you experience also that may nakita kayong part of that ancient civilization or are you just surmising from from your experience and ano no um i saw alam mo i do have repetitive dreams the same dream over and over and over why is it that i'm fascinated by horses castles and then men men ha hindi women mm-hmm. i always see myself as a man with a long hair yung tipo ni brave heart okay Always yan. Always. So, meron pang time na weird eh. Nasa setting ako na CR na na modern. Tapos yung suit ko, yung pa rin. So, Uh-oh. meron akong mga dreams na paulit-ulit, paulit-ulit. Yung lagi yung sa mount, nasa mountain ka pagkatapos nakikita mo yung lake sa iba pa. <laughs> Always yan. Sabi ko, Ah, malakas masyado ito. Sabi ko, baka kailangan ko pumunta na Ireland. Mm-hmm. Kailangan may tingnan ako doon. Yun, ganun. So, yun yung mga past lives ko. Now, sabi mo about um, aliens, hindi ako masyado working with them eh. Kasi parang iba yung tiyatawag, iba yung destiny ko or I'm made to do something else. Yes. Oo, iba yun. So, so again, isa-segue ko ma'am na mention nyo si Ireland. Ang napansin ko, be, with what I've read, parang maraming similarities with regards to our folklore with Ireland. 
sobrang daming similarities. Again, nak, uh, kukwento ko po sa inyo sa exorcist nga na nakausap namin. Again, he's an exorcist but technically he's like you na sensitive person siya. Kinukwento niya, yung makabantay niyang uh, duwende, binigyan siyang kotse. Nabigyan siya kotse. So, bigla naalala ko lang yung mga pot of gold na kwento sa Ireland na they give certain people uh, these things. Pag bumabiyahe po ba kayo, gusto ko kasi malaman yung similarities with regards to elementals. With, with that fact, ha? na parang pag nandun rin ba kayo, may nakikita kayong little folk or... Ay, oo. Oo. Nakakatuwa. Iba itura nila. <laughs> ah, iba itura nila. Iba. Parang they are adapting ah, okay. to their environment. Okay. Alam mo, like, like eto ah. Siyempre, pag ghost, it follows ko ano yung ghost, ano yung oh, tao, oh, oh, oh. itura. Hindi mo na kailangan tanong yun. Siyempre, kung anong matay doon, Amerikano, Amerikano. Oh, oh. <laughs> Pero kung anong matay doon, Indian, Indian, di ba? Oh, 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 oh. Pero alam mo, natatawa ako. Yan, yan. Maganda ko yung ano, kwento yan. One time, I was doing cleansing on a, on a house. It's an old, old house in Portland. Okay. Portland, Oregon. Oregon, yes. Sabi ko, yung bahay niya old. Pagkatapos, um, pagtingin ko ngayon, sabi ko parang mga duwende. Tapos sin- tin- sinilip ko, ipa ang habit, hindi katulad ng ano dito. Parang ayaw makapag-usap sa akin. Sabi ko, nge, kako sabi ko, may language barrier ba tayo? <laughs> parang ganun. Kasi all your isip lang eh. Hindi, actually, nangingimi sila sa akin. Siyempre kasi iba kulay ko eh. Okay. Iba yung kulay nandun, puti eh. Uh-oh. Edy, so nag-communicate ako ng mentally. Aba, maya-maya, nagsisend na ng ano. Alam mo, iba a flow ng thought din nila. So, Alam mo, amazing, amazing. They will talk about how their culture is or how they are, yung mga ganito. Para parang may bagong tao nagkukwento sa'yo na foreigner na, oh, oh. na ano na duwende. At saka iba itsura nila. Iba. The, the meat po or yung look or yung ano Mukha, po? I- iba, iba. Mukha talaga? Iba rin? Kasi sabi ko nga eh, nag-a-adapt ba talaga? Kasi alam mo, I've been to a lot of places. Yes. Which talagang tiningnan ko, nag-a-adapt. So, yung itsura niya, parang itsura rin ng sabi mo ng puti. Parang mm, gano'n mm, na mal- mm. maliit na maputi. Mm-hmm. Gano'n. Tapos, I was in Dubai. Oh, mm-hmm. sabi mo sa United Arab Emirates, may mm-hmm. pinunta na akong lugar. Malayo. Mm-hmm. Okay. Meron pa ako sa Abu Dhabi. Mm-hmm. Papay, meron ding mga duwende. Iba rin ang itsura. <laughs> Pero skin color hindi naman. Or skin color rin, would you say? Or talagang yung facial features lang? Um, me oh medyo humahawig dun sa sa lupa sa area oo oh, oh. oh. pero basically if they're small they're small kasi minsan tingin natin sa duwende di ba hanggang tuhod or yes. sabihin mo magwasan to di maliit sila maliit sila sabihin mo kasing laki lang ng litro ganyan lang siya kaliit Mm-mm. Mm-mm. kaya lang naman pinapakita pinapalaki kasi nga para for, for probably purposes na nakikita sila sa na 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 describe na yung ano sabi mo na visualize ang ta- ng maigi pero maliit lang sila ganun lang ang sight nila hindi hindi ang hindi ang tuhod or lang pastod may, may theory po kasi na actually napag-usapan namin ni Sam may theory si Sam na parang yung kagaya nun, let's say mga tikbalang or fairies or ganyan nga mga duwende parang yung proximity nila to people mas nagbumuka silang humanoid Pero pag mas detached sila na nasa bundok sila or nasa ibang lugar sila, oh, iba. Iba, mas iba, hindi na humanoid yung features nila. I, I don't know whether they have the capability of, um, di ba meron tayong tinatawag na minimimic nila yes. or oh, 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 oh. mabago ang yung maaari din. Okay? Ah, okay? Okay. Remember, di ba, sa folklore, sa mga English, yes. meron siya na tawag na centaur. Yes. Oo. Oh, oh. Ano yun? Kalahating kabayo. Ah, kabayo, kabayo, yes. Kabayo oh, at oh, saka tama, kalahating tama. tao, centaur. Yes. Oh, okay. Di ba, katawa, tapos yung ulo lang niya. Hindi ba parang familiar sa inyo? Oo, oh, 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 tikba lang. Oh, tama, tama. Ganun lang naman. Eh, siyempre tayo puro eh. <laughs> <laughs> sa kanila social sila. Oh, oh. <laughs> Di ba yung mga sasabi nga nila, mga unicorn, unicorn, mga ganyan. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, baka nga sigbin lang yun eh. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi, pero sa totoo lang, I'm trying to connect. Is... Oo, oh, oh, kami rin eh. Kami rin iniisip namin eh. Di ba? Ano yung connection eh? Oo. Oh, example din. Example din. Di ba sa kanila ang crow? Di ba? Bakit yes. ang 
sa mga English English na yan, oh, di ba? Oh, oh, oh. Yung mga yung crow, you know, si, ano na merong may witch yung man yes, or mga oh, mangko, oh. mangko, no? Eh, sa atin, tik-tik lang, may maliit na ito. <laughs> <laughs> low end tayo, low end. Oh. Di ba? Para, oh. it's very interesting when you look at, I was doing, I was doing my own observation. Uh, Siyempre, dito sa Asian countries, when I go to Singapore, meron din. Yes. Eh, parin, I think they adapt. Okay. They have the ability to duplicate or to replicate actually. Okay. Okay. Replicate po ano yung itsura para siguro nag adapt sila. Pero Oo. totoo ah, there are some there are some creatures, no? When I went to, yun nga, sa mga forest, madalas siya nagpunta ko ng Australia. Alam mo, minsan hindi ko mapicture yung mukha, yung type ng ano, creature. Ah, talaga? Kasi pag titig kong ganyan, sasabihin ko, hindi ko, maali, hindi ko maintindihan to kung gremlin or whatever. Kasi iba eh. Iba yung mukha. Yan yung sabi mo nga na nasa malayo na probably hindi siya na-expose masyado sa tao. Iba rin ni Chura. Minsan, parang nakikita mo siya, parang siya maliit na dinosaur na may buntot. Tapos iba din. Ah, talaga? Oo. Uh, sabi ko nga, is this, is the spirit world or the other dimensions also evolving? Probably yes. Just like us, we are also evolving. Kaya nga, Um, when you do you do your techniques, no, when you do banishing or sabihin mo na cleansing, I do also have a lot of techniques na meron akong plan A, B, C, D hanggang mm-hmm. sa palakas ng palakas. No? Mm-hmm. Again, when you, syempre, kanya-kanya tayo yung strategy. Yes. Uh, so, uh, tandaan nyo ang elementals. Hindi yan nababanish nung lalagyan mo ng krus na ganyan. Yes, oo. Oh, oh, oh. Hindi ganun yun. Coexist siya talaga. Uh, uh, it's really coexistence. But, if they are that nandun bordering on the evil, yes. ayun tayo, labanan tayo, yun yung exorcism. Okay. Yan. So, pagka, pagka ikaw nagbabanish ng mga mga elementals, hindi mo talaga siya pinapatay, hindi mo pwede patayin yan. <laughs> pwede mo lang pakiusapan. Oo. At saka kailangan agree ka sa kanyang sinasabi. Terms niya rin. Oo. Terms niya. Oo. Mag-agree kayo, hindi pwedeng panay kanya. Oh, oh, oh. Uh-uh. So, mimit kay halfway. Ang hindi ko lang ginagawa is humingi na pengin pera, ha? pengin gold. Okay. <laughs> Mga mamaya, nung hihingi niya kapalit oh, okay. sa akin. <laughs> hindi ko maibigay. Oh, oh. Oh, di, pag hindi mo maibigay, nagkikreate ng havoc sa iyo. Yes, totoo. Yun yun. Mister, may question lang ako with regards to elementals rin. Napansin namin, again, dalawa pa lang naman nakausap namin o tatlo pa lang nakausap namin sa ibang bansa. Well, apat. Pero iba Pilipino eh. Pero yung dalawang foreigner na nakausap namin, parang pag dinidescribe nilang elemental doon, parang hindi sila as strong. Kung, I'm, I'm not sure if that's the right term. Pero parang hindi sila as empowered doon. Kagaya nun, yung kwento ng isang babae sa Amsterdam, oh, meron nga dyan sa puno na yan, eh, may elemental dyan. Eh. Nakikita niya as orbs lang. Eh. Bolts of energy lang for her. Pero minsan daw, maririnig niya sumisigaw. Oh, sino ba itong maingay na to sa ilalim ng puno ko? Cellphone siya na cellphone. Alam mo, nagra-rant lang daw. Tapos, kunyari, minsan bababa siya sa puno, magpo-form siya again. So, similar to what you described na pag nagbumaba siya, hindi parang yung mga kapre dito sa Pilipinas. Ibang ibang form siya, parang matangkad lang siya na being. Pero, ang to, to my point there, yung kagaya nun na may maingay sa ilalim ng puno, kung sa Pilipinas yun, may nangyari na eh. <laughs> may nangyari na sa tao na yun, o parang kung ginulo mo yung, yung environment. Pero dun sa ibang bansa, parang hindi sila as empowered. You know why? Because of the collective consciousness. Thing. Ayun nga. Okay, okay. Oo. Okay. Now, here in the Philippines, we're, alam mo, hindi lang naman Pilipinas. Hmm. Pansinin mo, uh, Indonesia. Yes, okay. oo. Maano rin ang mga tao. Maraming mangko din doon, ha? Oo. <laughs> Sa Indonesia. Magagaling, mangko. ha? Magagaling. Oo. Indonesia. Malaysia. Lahat ng Asian. Oo. Bakit empowered sila? Kasi... Kasi we believe them, ganun. Tayo, we believe... All our energies, we we give them power. Tayo yun ano because we believe in them. Mm-hmm. Now, bakit sa mga Westerners, you know, um, dalawa lang naman sa kanilang spirit eh, kaya nga di ba, good and bad lang. Yes, so, so. kaya kaya ganun, sasabihin na nila noon, we rebuke you, ganyan, ganyan, uh-huh. ganyan lang yan sa kanila. So, wala sila yung in-between na pwedeng another world that can be living, ganyan, wala silang ganun. Ang nasa kanila kasi mga fairy tales lang daw yun, ganun, o kaya yes, mga so. Folklore. Yes, oh. Um, since they don't empower and they tend to have their logic 
logical mind, lagi lang dinidispute niyan, that's not true. Yes. Kasabihin niya sa'yo, it doesn't exist. I don't believe you. Yes. Tapos pag sinabi niya ganun ng, ng puti, pag sabi mo na I see this, 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 unang nabibigay sa'yo, Zaynar, bigyan kang gamot. Oh. Okay? Kasi ang way of thinking nila is you're having a... Uh, Uh, you have you're having depression you're now seeing things hallucinating parang gamot 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 yes. until yung sasabihin mo yung, yung supernatural na nakikita na yung mga kakaibang mga markings pa, hindi kaagad sila nag, naniniwala kasi wala sa kultura nila eh. yes so uh, pero maniwala ka sa bawat kultura din naman meron ding isang set na mga tao na naniniwala meron din like for example in Melbourne alam ba na merong psychic fairs sa Melbourne? Mm-hmm. And I've been part of it and I've been um, uh, also guest speaker. Kaya yes. halang, alam mo, nakakatawa. Ang lakas ng insecurity ng mga ganitong mga practitioners sa Asians. Bakit? Ah, alam ah, nila eh. Mas in tune tayo. Way of life natin yan eh. Kaya alam mo, sa totoo lang, iba kasi sila eh. Alam mo, pag sila, pansinin mo, yung mga practitioners doon, may sasabihin ko, yun lang. <laughs> yun lang ang ginawa nyo magbabasa kay yun lang tapos Uh-oh. mga cleansing cleansing niya yun lang tapos kapag you go for better sabi ko ay nako talagang commercialize sa atin pag gagawin gagawin eh Uh-oh. wala Uh-oh. ng definition na magaan ba mabigat ba eh Uh-oh. sa kanila mayroon mga ay nako when you're in Sedona natatawa ako doon nakikita cleansing of the aura meron silang simple meron din sila ano <laughs> Meron silang, meron yung for ganyan-ganyan. Sabi ko, buti pa sila, meron definition. Basta sa atin, pag sinabing cleansing na ora, whether mabigat o magaan lang, isa at isa lang. Isa lang yan. Isa lang to serve it mo. Yan, so, I think, yun na nga, I answered it na in, in such a manner na um, ang mga Filipinos, basically, kahit sa pumunta sa mundo, nararamdaman nila yun. Nakikita nila yun. Okay, one, um, I'll tell you a little story about naman multo. This is in uh, Virginia. I went to Virginia about four years ago or five years ago. Itong babae, Filipina, yung asawa puti. Tapos ayaw maniwala ng puti na may nangyayari sa bahay niya. Okay. Tapos sabi ko, eh, nakakausap ko yung babae. Tapos sabi niya kasi, aside from yung grind, tingin niya yung ngipin niya gumagalaw, yung pala meron, ano, may, meron pala condition yung gano'n, yung nag-grind tea. Tapos okay, nag-grind ng ngipin. Oh. Oh. Oh, tapos meron, meron pala talagang, ano yung kasama sa ngipin. Tapos parang feeling mo, gumagalaw, cheat mo, and something. So when I went, eh, tiki na usap talaga ako ng puti. Sabi niya, I hope you can fix this. Ang sagot ko, you know what, you should have brought your wife to a psychiatrist. I've been doing that, but she says, she sees, other things. Eh, syempre, hindi ko naman masasabi. Although I can feel, sabi ko, you know, uh, okay, I'll go there. So, nung nandun na, so if I go to the US, I'll do a side trip there. So, pumunta nga ako. Pagpunta ko, so, nag-overnight lang ako, una, initial. Ang claim ng babae, mayroon daw siyang nakikita na puti na lalaki matangkad. Okay. So, syempre, nag-stay ako. Nandun ako sa room. Nasa guest room ako. Kasi iwala naman silang two floors eh. So. Yes. And then sabi niya, Star, if you need anything, you just, malapit lang naman ako doon sa kitchen. So I just, sabi ko, you don't mind, even in the middle of the night, I can go and get something to drink. Yeah, don't don't bother. And you can get any food there. Again. Pero lola mo, madali, kasi hindi nga ako nakakatuloy ng maaga. Uh-huh. So alauna, lumabas ako, minum ako. Pabalik ako sa kwarto between two days. Pagbalik ko, may dumaan na lalaki. Naka-top hat. Okay. <laughs> Parang lingkon. Oo. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Sabi ko, hmm, man, lumabas sa porch. Okay. Pinabayaan ko. Okay. Uh, pero, pero nag-cleansing na ako ng bahay. Dumaan. Sabi ko, kung na-cleanse ko na yung bahay, bakit dumadaan pa? Tapos the next day, nag-usap kami. Tapos yun nga, sabi ko, ganyan. Sabi niya, yan ang lagi niya kita. Sabi ko, mukhang dumadaan lang naman. Eh, bakit daw lagi? Okay. Ito pa. In the middle of the day, si husband, no, uh, umuwi. Asan ba kami? Uh, nandun kami sa may garden. Nandun mm-hmm. kami. Okay. So, umuwi siya. Tapos, narinig namin nagtatakbo. 
tumatakbo yung ano. Tapos sumisigaw. Pumunta sa amin dun sa likod. Sabi ko, what happened? Ganyan siya, yung nga siya nangangat. Tapos sabi niya, I, I thought it was it was somebody who went inside the house. Akala niya nagnanakaw. Okay. Sabi ko, what did you see? Tapos tumawa ako, did you see the guy with the top hat? And then who looks like Abe Lincoln? Tapos napaganyan siya, yes. Tapos sabi niya, is there really somebody in the house? There's none. The door is locked. Sabi niya, yeah, I had to use the key to go in. Tapos nakita daw niya na lumabas daw sa pinto. Paano daw lalabas sa pinto? Ay, sa, sa may bintana. Paano daw lalabas sa bintana? Kung papasok daw siya ng door, binubuksan niya, lumabas daw ng bintana. Oo, dumaan. Tapos sabi ko, where did the guy go? So sa yard nila sa may harapan, kasi nandun kami sa likod, meron parang maliit na well na parang siguro luma ng well or something. Oo, oh, oo. Oh. Isabi ko sa kanya, so, okay, now I got it. Tapos, so, pinastay pa nila ako one night. Kasi, okay. I had to fix it. Okay, so, di, pinag-usapan namin. Ang sagot ko sa kanya, now do you believe her? Uh-oh. She's not crazy, no? Okay. And then she, sabi niya, yeah, and how, why is it that I only saw that entity now? Now. Whereas we've been here for a long time. Ibig sabihin nun, for three years, four years, running on four years na, na nakikita na asawa niya, bakit daw hindi, ano? Hmm, oh, lang. sabi ko, maybe because you were denying it, probably the spirit had already been really uh, showing himself to you, but you were denying it. Or you, um, well, I, na, ngayon daw niya na-realize na meron daw mga dumadaan-daan sa gilid na mata niya, hindi daw niya pinapansin. Uh-oh. So I did something para iputuli na nga yung ganun, tapos I had to sleep one more day para ma-sure lang wala energies and Uh-oh. it was okay. So the wife had to go to the psych- psychiatrist para nga sa grinding ng teeth niya. So naayos naman yun. And um, one time he, is, Jamie is his name, minsan na ganun siya for a long time, sabi niya sa akin, thanks star. O yun lang ang message niya. So sabi ko sa kanya, okay, whatever it is, what was it, whatever it is, you're welcome. Ang sagot niya, No, it's simply you fix our lives. Thanks. There's not no problem now. Yun. So, kung katulad yung behavior ng uh, behavior ng mga spirits, no? These are what we talk about spirits, mga ghosts, no? Are all the same all over the world. They're all the same. So, same same nga ba? Uh, ang aming theory dyan, again, uh, hindi ko, I'm not sure if na-mention nyo na po to sa YouTube nyo. Parang, ang theory namin is, it's either they're in a loop parang they're in a loop lang doing something. Or, may iba kami na experience, na kwento rin sa amin is, parang may consciousness rin sila. So, parang, the longer they are dead, mas loop na lang ba sila? Or, yun nga, parang kung recently deceased, mas may consciousness sila to do certain tasks. No, no. no? Um, the loop that you're saying is that because it's unresolved. Like, for example, ah. in places where are, there are um, accidents. Okay. Bakit laging merong apparition or haunting? Mm-hmm. Balik ng balik yung babae. Ganun at ganun ginagawa. Lakad ng lakad, tawid ng tawid. Kasi probably, nung mamatay yan, hindi niya alam patay na siya. Ah, okay, okay. So, yung, kung ano yung huling kamalayan, that's why I always experience, uh, I always explain that, your last consciousness. For example, you're in a car and you're sleeping. Sleeping ka, hindi ko yung nagmamaneho, tapos may nagmamaneho. Eh, ang huling consciousness mo, tulog ka. Oo. And then, nagising ka, biglang boom, nag-open yung eyes mo, bumabangga na kayo sa tib, and then blackout. That's your last consciousness. So, bakit meron tayong sighting sa ospital kung saan namamatay ang isang tao? Kasi nga, pag pagbalik niya dun sa spiritual, pag nag-spiritual na siya, ano ba yung nagdodraw sa siya? Bagong alis lang yan eh. Totoo. Saan siya yung nahuling, yung feel niya, saan ba huling nagaling? Iikot Oo. yan. Ah, yung look mo actually okay. is more of He's searching what happened. Bakit ganun? How come? Di ba may mga movies na, pati hindi niya akong marinig. Ano oh, yun? Oh, no. oh, Tapos oh, pag tingin niya, siya yung nandun sa kabaong. Oh, oh, oh. Tapos yung acceptance. Hindi niya kasi ma-resolve. There's so many things. Exa- Marami namang reasons kung bakit earthbound na isang soul. Yes. Oh. Himbawa, hindi naman nakapagpaalam maigi. O meron pang tinatapos. Oo. Oh, oh. So balik niya, balik, balik. Yung, di ba, meron pang stories tayo. Parang everyday pumapasok. Oo. Oh, oh. Nagpamakinilya pa. Oo. Oh, Oo. Oh, oh. oh, oh. Maybe because a person doesn't even know he died in the hospital. Alam niya na, 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 na may sakit siya. Pero feeling niya, dahil free na yung katawan niya, akala niya, yung consciousness niya, akala niya, okay na siya. 
the reason why we pray for people, di ba? When we do prayers for the dead, or sabi mo yung mga pasyam, di ba paulit-ulit tayo ng salita ng pangalan ah, niya? Ah, yes, 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 yes. So, for the spirit to hear, siya pa nang pinagdabi sa, it's one way, you know what, it's not true eh, when you pray for a person, ano sasabihin mo para mabawasan ang mga kasalanan niya? Di oh. naman yung mabawasan ang kasalanan ng tao <laughs> sa prayer mo lang eh. Para hindi oh. ba? So, Para naman ka mo, di ba? Oo, oo. Bubulahan pa tayo. Bubulahan tayo. Eh, syempre, yung karmic ano niya yan, sasagutin niya yan doon eh. Pag nagkaroon sila na, ano, did you learn your lesson? Yes, oo. Kung bawa may pagkasalanan ka, bakit? Kung ganun lang ba madali, di sabihin ko sa'yo, can I pay you? Can you pray for me always? Oo, oo. It's not that. You are praying because para yung realization ng spirit, naririnig niya na siya. Napatay niya na siya. Mm-hmm. Para matulungan siya kung ano man yung mga agonies niya, kung ano mga bagahe niya na release din. Kaya when I tell them na, please start ka lang ipag-pray natin or for the repose of the soul. Repose of the soul. Tama rin yung term. Para manahimik. Para mm-hmm. ma-acceptance. Para, para maka-cross over siya. Yes. Yeah. So one of the things that I do really, one of the things that Father Bulataw really taught me is how to cross over a person. It's not easy. I have seen already. I have crossed over a lot of people already. Yes. Actually, isa sa mga kwento nyo, na favorite ko yung yung may umutot habang nag, nag, nag-circle kayo. <laughs> Sobrang favorite ko yung sa mga kwento mo. Totoo yun na mga totoo oh, oh. yun. Oh, oh. Pero yun, at that point, nag, parang nagpapacross over kayo na maraming tao yata for, for that area. I'm not sure if ko tama pag hindi ko sa kwento. Usually, when you do a cleansing and you open that when you do the circle of white light and when you conjure the light, it is but tama lang naman that you always invite spirits who would want to cross over. Pero hindi lahat pumupunta sa mga. Pero oh, oh, oh. iba nakikita ko nandun lang sa paligid. Oh. Nakatingin lang sila ang ganun. You can't force them. Yes. So... Uh, ang, ang mahirap kasi like for example, um, kailangan mo din na may personal touch sa kanila. Ah, alamin mo ano nangyari sa kanila. Mm-hmm. For you to call them by for example, tatawagin mo, hi Joey, you passed uh, and then you you already, you're dead and this happened to you. Kailangan gaganunin mo. Yes, so, Usapin mo personally. Hindi oh, yung, I call on the spirits, kanya oh, tinitin ba yes, yes, oh, oh. Oh. Para namang ano yan, para tayo nag, yung meron, yung nga, parang Harry Potter. Oh, oh. <laughs> Miss Star, sorry, last two questions na lang. Okay pa po ba kayo? See you, sure. Okay. Uh, actually, isa kong, uh, question yung sa ang aming personal interest yung sa biringan kasi iniisip namin talaga ano ba tong ano ba tong hidden dimension na to na merong advanced civilization na nagtatago I was supposed to do a shoot with biringan para sa program ko sa DZMM noon I'm so interested in biringan because my interest interest was aroused by a client nung pumunta siya sa akin iyak siya na iyak kasi sa dad niya Mm-mm. Ang dad niya binarel, okay? okay? So nung sabi ko, bakit babarilin sa tayo mo ganyan ganyan ganyan? Tapos marami daw nang kwento nung nakapunta doon sa biringan niya. Pagkatapos sakita nila ang tatay nila doon. So sabi niya sa akin, "Mom Star, totoo ba na kinuha ng inkanto ang mga tatay ko?" Kasi ang tingin niya daw ang biringan niya, yung, yung belief nila is tao na mga inkanto. Oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. Okay, which ganoon naman talaga nangyayari. Kasi I have a counterpart kwento about that. This antique, if you watch the uh, Igoyo University yata or something, yun, meron ako sa YouTube niyan. Pareho-pareho yan. Pareho-pareho. Sabi ko, anong nakita doon? Meron isang malaking boat daw na parang halos ginto. Tapos mm-hmm. meron mga, may dala-dala daw mga, mga semento, oh, 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 mga, oh. mga building materials na yes. hindi mo maintindihan ko. And then, um, Nandoon daw yung tatay niya na parang nakatayo at tapos pinapaano daw yung 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 mga semento parang parang siya yung nag-aano na ilagay dito lagay ganyan. Yes. Tapos yung specific person na yan sinabi sa kanya na nakita ko yung tatay mo. Oo. So, sabi niya sa akin, "Di star," sabi niya, "Nandoon ba talaga tatay ko hindi na po bababalik?" Sabi ko, "Ikaw naman. Naki- nahawakan mo ba ang tatay mo sa sa ataul?" Yes. At saka meron daw bullet wounds nga dito sa ulo. Oo. 
Ano po, nakita mo tatay mo? O, nung nilibing mo, nakita mo tatay mo na pumasok doon sa libingan. Oo. Eh, andun yung tatay mo. Sabi niya, is he trapped ba daw at piringan? That I cannot answer anymore. Kasi, kung yan kinuha ng mga engkanto, dahil, sabi mo, gusto nilang kunin, hmm. it's just like probably, ang biringan is lugar ng mga engkanto. Yes. So, basically, explanation natin yan, another dimension ng mga engkanto. Yeah, so... Bakit gano'n? Napakasib mga high-tech na sila doon. Kasi yeah, may mga inkanto, totoo naman din eh. Uh, when you go to the enchanted world, magugulat ka, ma- ma- ma-amaze ka kasi sa stories na mga nakakausap ko. Panay gold, oh, oh, I gold, gold, mga building na hindi mo maintindihan oh, oh, yung oh, structure oh, oh. para daw mas maganda pa kesa sa mga uh, like mga structures sa Belgium, mga structures ng na mga cathedrals. Sabi ko, eh kasi, that's their world. Ko ano yung gusto nila ipakita na magnani mo sa'yo. But actually, they could just be nandun. Projections. Pag, siguro, projections lang. Yung pala, isang puno lang sila. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, if you get to get the story of Antique, which is, when I was a small kid, I was listening to it, no? Olaira. No? and yung golden na uh, ship no na dumadaan dun sa ano alam mo ba na isa sa navigational route nila ay ang mismong bahay namin doon sa Antique <laughs> kasi our house is in the middle of malaking malaki kasi yung area na amin eh. so there's about five hectares of that and then okay. it's in the middle mm-hmm. tapos alam mo ang bahay namin may may sariling story ang kabalagyan niya <laughs> tapos minsan Nung tiningnan ko yung rota ng supposed to be na sinauna pang kwento, yes. ang rota niya is cutting through the fields of Hamtik, which is our hometown. Nung makita ko, sabi ko, hindi ba parang amin to? <laughs> Iyon na nga, nas parang amin. So, oh. alam mo yung enchanted world na yan, masyadong vast eh. Kasi maraming nakapunta doon, marami rin nakabalik. Pero hindi naman actually, kasi once na makuha ka na nila, maraming kwento, pinapalitan nila. Marami akong feature na kwento na ganyan. Pinalilita, pinapalitan ng ano, nung trunk ng saging. Oo, yun nga, yung trunk ng saging. Nga, We daw. have that kwento. It's called the Pinalakad or the, the Mr. Abong Story. That's in my YouTube. And we are going to expand it kasi nga, uh, it's for a new program na ano, the... the kwento ng kababalaghan will be running 40 minutes to an hour. Okay. In a new channel. Okay. Yun yung ginagawa namin. Ma'am, last na, ito na talaga. Okay. Kasi, uh, uh, feeling ko baka meron kang advice lang with regards to protection. Baka po you can give a, like a short description lang of how people can, kasi cleansing, tinulungan namin mag-cleanse yung parang bahay nung isang tao eh. So parang yun yung kanyang advice. Again, baka you have a better advice with regards to yeah. Because I don't believe in virtual cleansing. Okay. Uh, uh, um, this coming Thursday, I'll be doing something for a farm. It's a very known person. Humagis talaga. Kitang kita namin sa CCTV. Yung maid niya. Humagis. Nakaangat yung pa. Humagis. Grabe. Nabasa yung mga bangang mahal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kaya nga, taranta na sila eh. Kasi sabi oh. nila, uh, hindi daw nila akalain na mangyayari. So, um, what I can do kasi first, first and foremost, ano ba yung ban aid treatment, first aid treatment? Ah, yes. Yung uh, ituro ko. Yes, sige po. If you have black tourmalines, it really works. Black tourmaline and salt. Black okay. tourmaline and salt. It really works. It does. Ako, when I travel, I always have a isang pack. Punong-puno yan. I, ano nandoon? I have copper. Usually, madaling bumili ng copper coin kasi sa Amerika. Yes, oo. Uh, copper coin. Uh, I have black tourmaline. I have black obsidian. I have a bronzite and red fire agate. Okay, okay, what are these things? Protection, not only for from elementals, but these are also from uh, people who have very ill intentions. I yes. Kasi uh-huh. back to sender stones ang bronzite, red fire agate. Pinagsama mo yung lakas nun, ba, ba, ano, return to sender na wala kang ginagawa. Okay. okay. Kapag talaga makikita mo na, and also another one, jet. 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 Isa okay. sa mga malalakas. Okay, so when you carry those, you carry it with you and you put it under your pillow when you are traveling. 
kasi minsan, lalo na pagka when you're staying in hotels, sometimes you can't help it. The hotels are always booked. Yes. My God. <laughs> Ay, ilang beses na ako nun. Diyos ko. Yung nabubwisit ba ako na... Oo, istorbo. Na in the middle of the night, alas stress pag gaganyan yung mata ko, may nakatayo din, nakabarong, <laughs> umin pa yung naka-American. Nabubwisit lang ako. Tapos, ayoko kasi yung point na magagalit ka. Tapos mga wala na antok mo, hindi ka na makatulog. Correct, oo. Oh. Actually, not because I'm, I I fear them. Nagising nga yung diba ako eh, istorbo. May, meron niya, madalas siyang ginagawa sa akin. Yung... yung sinisipa yung kama. Oh, tapos oh, oh. nararamdaman mo gumaganoin yung cushion. Oh, oh. Yan. Okay. So, when you have a black term again with you, you put it there. Okay. Now, for those Catholics, I would really say, have a blessed St. Benedict medal. Now, where do you get the St. Benedict? Get it from Catholic stores. Don't get it from Kiapo na iba-ibang inscription. Okay. Next. Uh, when you say a prayer, say the prayer that you're mo- most comfortable with. You don't attempt to know and say the Latin thing that you don't even know how to say it properly. You might be conjuring other spirits. Okay. Yan ang tawag doon, nagmamaru. Uh, ano? Mamaru. Na mamaru. <laughs> oh, meron lang ano, umiepal-epal lang na yabang. Ano, oh, oh, oh. Na, ma'am, sorry, naalala ko yung Aramaic, yung ano. Yung may kilala ka, ar- ah, nag-Aramaic. Nanonood ka nga. Oo, oh, 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 oh. So, ako parang hain ako. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> ko sa kanila mamaya. Okay. Ah, uh, niyo sa kanya yung Aramaic. Oh. Yeah, oh, yung maganda 'yon, maganda 'yon. Anyway, so after afternoon having these things on hand, yan yung mga nagte-travel, yung mga maalis every day or ang gabi mo na. Um, now, kapag nagkakaroon kayo ng bad dreams, no? You know what you do? Sa so, apat na corners ng bed niyo, isang ganyan lang ng asin okay na, di patungan niyo ng isang black tourmaline, apat na kanto. So, yan yung mga first aid natin. Okay. Now, how do you cleanse your place? Una-una, kung may spirit, medyo mag, mag-isip-isip ka naman kung matatakotin ka. Huwag mo nang i-persuma. Huwag ka na na eksperto. Okay? Huwag, huwag yung yabang yan eh. Ah, kaya-kaya ko yan. dami na ako nakita mga weekends na ano eh. <laughs> na dali. <laughs> Totoo yan ha. Maraming weekends na dali. Hanggang ngayon nga eh. Yung First and foremost is you do a protection. Kaya yung shielding. Okay? Napakahalaga ng shielding. The one that when you invoke the white light. So, you put yourself quietly and you breathe. When you breathe, think of nothing. Nothing. Hindi yung kung ano-ano mga isip mo. Hindi yes. yung sabi mo, isip ka ng orasyon. Think of nothing and let your mind just be blank. And then you just feel yung, yung pag-breathe in mo and pag-breathe out. You hold that for seven counts. And then imagine there's white light coming from up there. And when you pray, you ask really sincerely, kung sino man ang Diyos mo, wag naman yes. yun. Kasi light comes from God talaga, the yes. Supreme Maker. So you ask pumasok dito sa tuktok. Bakit sa tuktok? Ayan ang seat of spirituality. Pagpasok niyan, hayaan mong pumasok sa first chakra mo, yung yung seven chakra mo dito eh. Kasi first sa iba ba eh. So, seven chakra mo, umikot na umikot hanggang sa mind mo, itatouch mo yung behind the eye, yung adj na, which is the third eye. Iikot na iikot, parang ta- ano funnel. Para siyang binababa mo, paikot. Parang, imagine it, swooshing. Yun. Gaganyan mo paikot sa loob mo hanggang daanan yung behind the eye, yung throat mo, yung heart mo, solar plexus mo, hanggang sa puson, hanggang sa base ng spine. And you don't stop there sa seven chakras. You go down pa, pa, pa crawl mo sa paa mo hanggang sa lumabas sa soles ng feet. Mag-ground ka muna. Grounding. Okay. So pag mag-ground ka, ah, grounding, oh. Oh, importante ang grounding para hindi ka lumilipad mo saan-saan. Okay? Oh. Para ka hindi na manang, manananggal na ano kung saan-saan na pupunta. Maso oh. ah, sa paa, <laughs> Balik mo ulit, padaanin mo sa lahat ng chakras mo straight line, palabasin mo sa u- sa ulo, tapos ngayon parang vulkan, pinapa-burst mo, paikot mo ngayon yan. Pag pinaikot mo, puti lang talaga. Once you cover yourself with the white light, then you start doing the cleansing. Mm-mm. So that's that's how everything should be done with a shielding. Now, yung mga techniques na shielding, marami kasing techniques of protection din. But that is really the simple way of protecting yourself just with the white light. 
Now, when you're clothed with a white light, papansinin mo parang nakadistansya lang din yung ano, yung mga elementals or spirits. Yan. So, that's the time. And when you do cleansing, you start always with the east. With the you east. go east and then go clockwise, ikot, and balik sa east. Okay. So, ano ba, alam mo, actually, ako naman mag advice lang talaga na go slow with cleansing. No? Pag mahina ang loob, huwag na. Okay. O kaya, ask somebody to be with you. Hindi yung mga ngahas ka pagkatapos, pag ikaw ay naposes, sasabihin mo, uh, may mali o whatever. Oo, oh, oh, oh. talaga may mali kasi... May hina loob mo. <laughs> may hina loob mo. Na, may butas yung ora mo. Pagkakabutas kasi yung shield mo. Oo oh, nga daw. Oo oh, Dito oh. Dito magkakabutas sa chakra mo na ito. Kasi yung emotions mo, takot ka at saka yung solar plexus mo. Kasi yung aggressiveness mo, wala, mahina eh. Pag ang solar plexus mahina, boom, ang bilis. Lalo-lalo na huwag ka magkiklens kapag galit ka. Miss Star, thank you very much. Salamat po. Sana marami kayo natutunan. Ay, sobra po. Sobra, sobra. Sobra, oh, sobra oh. po. Sobra, sobra po. You know, um, honestly, I... Uh, I have a heart kasi for young young people or those people who are starting or those who are um mas madali kasi mag-reach out and napapakinggan niyo yung mga experiences na mas mataka, mas nakakatuwa ng ba mga pa hindi po <laughs> <laughs> para magka-age lang po tayo <laughs> <laughs> hindi kasi probably it's because you know nga um one of the things that you have to understand is Uh, when you look for a person then uh, who says who are practitioners yes. you have to look at what's in the heart yes marami kasing mga arrogante I, mm. I feel sad about it if you notice no um maraming popular siguro alam niyo na yan maraming yes. popular uh-huh. na, na, na. Uh-huh. we always say <laughs> bad things and everything ako when you told me about that I tried to feel all of you I say sige actually alam mo sa totoo lang Nung, nung kinontak mo ako, may isang bata na from UP. Sabi niya, ma'am, can I also, in, can I interview you? Mm-hmm. And she's the head of the UP Esoteric Society. So, it's for her thesis. Okay. Alam mo, suplada, suplada. You know why? I just don't give interviews. Okay. So, gusto ko talaga interviews katulad ng ganito. Opo. Thank you po for, for ano, kasi sobra na-appreciate namin. Uh, na-realize nga namin, actually si JM tsaka ako nung simula, nung may nag-reach out nga sa amin si Liz, na-realize namin, hindi na lang takutan yung podcast. Kasi simula, syempre, puro nakakatakot na kwento. Tapos na-realize namin na nakakatulong rin kami. I mean, parang we're trying to build a community for people na safe space. Pwede kayo magkwento. Kaya ginawa namin anonymous. Pwede kayo magkwento na hindi kayo majudjudge <laughs> nung... Oo. Kasi marami talagang ganun nga. As to your advice nga na hindi na siya tabu eh. So, hopefully, hopefully, uh, mas maraming maka-accept. Bakit? Kasi you can help more people. Pag ganito, nakikita mo sila. Totoo po, totoo Somehow, you can feel the aura and you can probably, sabi mo, maa-assess mo. Kesa yes. doon sa blank na ayaw ipapit. Yes, oo. At ako doon makikita yung sincerity. Oo. So, sino po dito sa amin yung itim, itim ang aura at ma-itim good hit? <laughs> Hindi, si Sam. Sam, malakas ang pandinig mo. Na ano ko eh. Oo. Yan, i-develop mo maigi yan. Ang lakas-lakas eh. Okay. Alam mo kung ano i-listen mo. Sometimes they will tell you what's going to happen way ahead. Actually, may premonition nga siyang kwento. Yan ang, ito ang way niya. Hindi mo maintindihan. They're just parang, shh, Sometimes it just floats in the air. Okay. But you have to take care of your back. Your back is weak. Masakit nga po siya ngayon. Your back is weak. Okay. Um, this is... The, the, ako, I don't mind. You know, I've, I've been tested a lot. Okay. Salbahe ako pag tinitest. <laughs> Sino ka po yung secret ng tao? <laughs> I, I do, a real psychic won't mind. Yes. Okay. Oh. Oo, to be tested. Bakit? Uh-huh. Lalo na ako nakatakot eh. Yes, oo. Uh-huh. Oo. Wala akong hawak ha. Hindi ako, actually when I read, I'm comfortable with my skin. I don't need anything. Yeah. Okay. JM. Mag-on ka ng mic mo. Okay. Ayun po. Um, JM. 
malakas ka kumutob ng tao. Pero alam mo, minsan, nuknu ka ng insecurity mo. Totoo po, totoo. Masyado ka. Hindi ka naniniwala sa nakikita mo. Or sometimes you keep quiet. Kailangan tatanungin mo pa yung kapwa mo, like si Sam or whatever. Kung totoo nakikita mo. Be bold enough. To totoo yan. Totoo yan. Please be bold enough to say that. It's high time for you to be able to really say what you see and you feel. Now, ikaw ba yung malis na witchcraft? Apo. Tama yung ginawa mo. Yeah. Yung conscience mo. Ah, alam mo, mabuti na lang nakaalis ka kasi alam mo bakit. Kung tinuloy mo yon, nakikita ko yung karmic, ano mo eh, yung, yung karma mo eh. Meron eh. Pero alam mo, actually, nagbabayad ka rin sa ibang karma mo eh. Apo. Oo. Um, konti na lang. Konti na lang. Alam mo, uh, ang trick dyan para matapos yung ano mo, yung, yung karmic whatever utang mo, I think do something else for someone na hindi malalaman ng someone na ginawa mo yun para sa kanya. Okay. It, it's doing a good deed that nobody knows and that person you're gonna help, nobody, hindi rin niya alam na ikaw ang nakatulong. Okay. Tapos yan po pinoproblema mo. And I think, I think, why don't you do a cleansing para naman yung prosperity will come into your life. Ano mo? Gawin mo yung sasabi ko sa iyo. And then, do a, do you know the cleansing na sinasabi na mag-iiwan ka ng gamit mo sa isang lugar at saka hindi mo babalikan yun? Um, yeah, yeah, I know that. O, oh, nagawa mo na ba yun? Hindi pa po kasi wala, um, usually kasi na pinupuntahan ko is nababalikan ko kaya may time na ginawa ko siya but na syempre nabalikan ma- mo. Madidisregard, oo, oh, oh, nabalikan ko po kasi siya. Kaya ang hirap. Actually, yung sasadyain mo na lang. For example, di ba part ng damit mo or anything na sinuot mo, sando mo, di ba? Ah, um, um, meron ako ata sa Palawan, I think. Nung nagpunta kami ng Palawan, iniwan ko, sinadya akong iwan yung sapatos ko dun sa hotel. I don't know why. Basta sabi ko, iiwan ko na to dito. Which is, hindi na ako bumalik dun. Yun, yun yung alam kong isa sa mga na, nagawa ko. May mali ka doon. Kapag yun, sinuot ng ibang tao, okay. mamunahin niya. Dapat it's something na hindi pakikinabangan ng tao. Mm, Example, okay, may okay. pasando. Doon sa isang lugar, talaga sasadyain mo yan. Parang ganito, bakit ka nagpunta na ano, nagbakasyon ka no, sa Palawan? Um, apo, bakasyon and work din po. Ah, si Hindi dapat ganun. Dapat sasadyain mo na ang purpose mo is... Sadyain, okay. Yung magsando ka na lang. Pagdating mo doon, punitin mo yon At pag punit mo, sasabihin mo, I now cleanse myself. Ay, ganyan, pinuputo mo na all the connections. Ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos itapon mo yan na hindi pa pakinabangan ng tao. Babalik mo lang, binibigay mo sa tao yung problema niya. Ganun. Tapos hindi mo talaga babalikan yun. Babalikan mo yon only... Talaga iso sobra mo na isang taon. Pagkatapos pag pag ano yon, pag bumalik ka doon after more than actually ako kung two years, mas okay. Tag pag binalik mo doon, parang i-release mo lang lahat. Ganyan eh. Okay. Mabadali po na malapit-lapit ka na tapos. Really? Yeah, alam alam po nila ano yan, na yun nga um meron akong tinatapos na ano, binabayaran. Ah. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, your health. Okay, always be careful with your stomach area. Your stomach area mo. It can either be digestive, can be your liver, it can be your your ano, your kidneys. So, yun yung weak spot mo. Okay? So, um have you had your recent laboratory exam? Mm, not yet. Wala pa po. Kailan ang huli? Tagal na po. Last time na na-hospital pa ako, when I was 12 or 13 years old, tapos wala na pong nangyari yung lab, laboratory. Can you have... Pero, um, um, malakas ang... Hindi ako masyadong takot kasi regarding on that because malakas naman ako sa water. Ang nagiging problema kasi sa akin is 
hindi healthy yung mga kinakain ko kasi nga hindi ako makain ng gulay. So, hindi <laughs> na nga siya sabi ko. Muting na may liver mo. <laughs> yun nga. Ay, yun nga yun. <laughs> yun. Kaya, ano. Kapag check up ka, mad- madali yung maayusin yan eh. Kasi kung hindi ko naman maayos yan, hindi ko nababanggitin eh. Mm-hmm. Usually, pagka hindi na yung mga terminal or sabi mo talagang yun na yung destiny mo, hindi ko talaga babanggitin na. Pero kapag binanggit ko, for you to see, it means it, it can be resolved. Gano'n lang yan. Kasi hindi. Diba? Si a**. Ay, oh, okay lang. Okay. <laughs> Isa ka pa rin a**. <laughs> sabi ka na sabi, wala kang gift, meron ka rin. Ini-ignore ko po eh. siguro. Oo. Oh. Alam mo, actually, ganito, kung bakit ini-ignore mo, It's because you know this is it 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 really um uh reflects other people also the reason why they're ignoring it for fear you don't know yes. kasi of what you are capable of but siguro ang masasabi ko na sa iyo it's not true that you're not gifted everyone is and the mere fact that you have this compassion to people and to help them with what they could not understand that itself is already dinalagay ka na doon eh. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, kung you continue it. Now, yes. ano yung meron ka? Feel. Nandyan yung being an empath. Mm-hmm. Pagiging empath mo nandyan na. Develop mo. Kasi, uh, normally, for a father like you, ayaw mo kasi i-open kasi may anak kaya baka mamiya makita din yung mga bata. Hindi mo alam, yung mga bata nakakita na. <laughs> Yung anak ko minsan eh. Anyway, ayaw ko isipin. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> keme, keme ka. So, sabihin mo, ayaw, ayaw mo. Kamil, sabihin sa'yo ng anak mo, oh, I, I already saw that and this and this and this. Wala. <laughs> oh, they're already playing. I can see them like this, like this. Oh. It, it, it's actually the adults are the ones who have fear. It's not the children. Kaya nga, ang age of innocence is until seven or eight. When after that, the child either forgets it or closes, closes, but actually hindi man nagko-close yun, yung kamalayan lang. And then it will be triggered again with some experience in the future. Meron naman nagtutuloy-tuloy. Parang ako, nagtuloy-tuloy. Tuloy-tuloy, oo. Oh. 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 Yan, di ba? Masaya. Okay. Oh. Thank you, Miss Star. Salamat po talaga. Huwag ka hawak niyan, Sam, sa likod mo, ha? <laughs> <laughs> Nabati. Oo, oh, oh, di ba? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Salamat po. Thank you so much. Welcome. Oh. And sana, oh, oh, mag-prosper kayo. Try to answer people's questions. Yes, we, we, we always try to help. But also be careful with other practitioners. Maraming ganyan. Kaya nga mas maganda, pagka nagaganyan kayo, sa harapan ninyo, meron kayong black termaline. Para hindi ah. po. Sige po. Black termaline and shungay. Okay. Sige hindi po. yung makakapenetrate, for sure. Ah, talaga? Okay. Oo. Uh-uh. It's nice also sharing to you. And I do hope makatulong sa inyo. Yes po. Okay, thank you po, Mr. Thank you. Thank good you night. so much. Good night, good night. Thank, thank you so much po. You, Bye-bye. Again, a very big thank you to Miss Star who gave us the time to answer our questions. With her depth of experience, this R was just a sliver of her knowledge and life lessons. We urge all of you to learn more from Miss Star by following her on the different platforms she engages in. I discovered Miss Star on her YouTube page. That's where I learned a lot. So I suggest you follow her there. Links will be in the show description below. Marami siyang videos dun na very educational and entertaining. Like I mentioned in this episode, may mga nakakatawang kwento siya dun tungkol sa umutot habang <laughs> nagre-ritual sila. So follow her on YouTube. You can also catch her on Sundays at Pinoy Vibes in Kumu. That's from 8pm to 11pm Manila time at FYE channel. I'll also put the links down below. Miss Star also mentions the store Shop Soulfully on Facebook and please check out her customized pieces there, crafted specifically from her experience. In one of our future episodes, we get to talk with one of the proprietors of that shop. And let me just say, that is another eye-opener. We hope this episode opens your eyes to the things that we cannot see and helps you accept the truth that we really are coexisting with spirits and entities which 
inhabit the same planet as we do. If you have stories like this that you want to share, email us at paranormalsph at gmail.com and we'll gladly share it with our paranormal community. The Paranormal Podcast is engineered and produced by F90 Productions. Please rate and review our show on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or whichever podcast platform you are using. Thank you for listening. The Delta variant is out there, so please stay safe.